A very warm welcome to you. This is Dalsan TV English News, Somalia's top number one TV stations for news and updates. My name is Abdezak Ali. We have prepared some of our top stories. Chinese envoy urges international community to aid Somalia in overcoming challenges. Journalists empowered as champions for Somali women and children's rights. Security forces seize a bound for Al-Shabaab in Gelgadud region. And Beledouane Airport has been closed after El Nino rains. Welcome back. Now, a Chinese envoy has emphasized the need for collective assistance in addressing the multifaceted challenges faced by Somalia. Dai Bing, China's deputy permanent representative to the United Nations, has stressed that Somalia finds itself a critical juncture in its political and security landscape. The int international community must not waver in its attention and support, he said. A Chinese envoy emphasized the need for collective assistance in addressing the multifaceted challenges faced by Somalia. Dai Bing, China's deputy permanent representative to the United Nations, stressed that as Somalia finds itself at a critical juncture in its political and security landscape, the international community must not waver in its attention and support. During a session of the Security Council, Dai Bing urged concerted efforts to consolidate the significant progress achieved in combating Al-Shabaab, while the Somali authorities have made visible gains in their fight against Al-Shabaab group. Recent frequent attacks have resulted in civilian casualties. Dai Bing underscored the importance of ongoing support for Somalia's counterterrorism and stabilization, advocating for enhanced training and capacity building for the Somali security forces. He further emphasized the importance of supporting Somalia's political transition, highlighting its crucial role in consolidating national security and political stability. The Chinese envoy urged all parties involved to prioritize dialogue and consultation as means of resolving their differences and advancing the transition process. The Somali authorities have consistently appealed for the lifting of the arms embargo imposed on the country. Now, heavy rains caused by the El Nino caused Beledwene Town's Ugas Khalifa Airport to be temporarily closed on Friday. According to aviation officials in Hirshabel Estate, the previous night, Downpour accumulated significant water in, on its premises, necessitating the suspension of flights. Baladwain Towns Ogas Khalifa Airport experienced a temporary closure on Friday as a result of heavy rains brought on by the El Nino phenomenon, according to officials. The aviation authorities of Irishabel State reported that previous night's downpour led to the significant water accumulation on the airport's premises, necessitating the suspension of all flights for the morning. One of Somalia's cities has been identified by federal authorities as areas to be affected by the El Nino rains that are currently impacting the country, with the operations being suspended for several hours during the rainy season. El Nino is a climate pattern that occurs at irregular intervals ranging from two to seven years, and it has the potential to cause significant weather disturbances. In addition, the Indian Ocean Dipole, a climate pattern connected to sea surface temperatures, also contributes to the complex weather patterns experienced in the region. According to reports from the United Nations agencies, over 2.3 million Somalis have been displaced within the country due to climate-related hazards and disasters. Somalia currently hosts more than 3.8 million internally displaced persons, representing one of the largest internally displaced population in the world. The impact of climate change exacerbates the already precarious situation, leading to further displacement and vulnerabilities among the Somali population. Efforts to address the root causes of climate change, as well as implementing adaptation and resilience strategies, are crucial for countries like Somalia to withstand the impact of extreme weather events. Elsewhere, in an operation conducted in Hirdere and Godon villages in the Galgadud region on Friday, security forces from the Somali National Army intercepted a vehicle carrying military supplies, fuel and food for the militant group Al-Shabaab. Security forces intercepted a vehicle transporting military supplies, fuel, 
and food destined for Al Shabab militants during a planned operation in the Waole village, situated between Hindere and Gadon towns in Galgadud region on Friday. The Somali National Television reported that upon learning of the vehicle seizure, members of the militant group Al Shabab attempted to attack the security forces. However, security forces successfully repelled the attack, resulting in deaths of three militants. Since President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed assumed power in May 2022, the government has steadfastly waged a robust campaign against the Al Shabab militant group. Al Shabab has been responsible for some of the deadliest attacks in East Africa, including the 2010 bombings in Kampala, Uganda, targeting crowds watching the FIFA World Cup and the 2013 attack on the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, Kenya. The group has also conducted attacks within Somalia, targeting government officials, security forces, and civilians. Efforts to combat Al Shabab have involved a combination of military operations, counterterrorism efforts, and regional cooperation. The African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, ATMIS, consisting of troops from several African countries, has been instrumental in pushing back the group and supporting the Somali government. The United States has also conducted airstrikes and provided military assistance to the Somali and regional forces. Now, the Somali Media Houses Association, SIMHA, has, in collaboration with the Save the Children Somalia, has commenced a comprehensive five-day training for Somali journalists drawn from di different media houses across Mogadishu. The Somali Independent Media Houses Association, or SIMHA, in collaboration with Save the Children of Somalia, has commenced a comprehensive five-day training program for nearly 40 journalists from various media outlets in Mogadishu. The training aims to empower journalists, including both young women and men, working as editors, producers, reporters and senior reporters to effectively report on child rights, gender equality and empowerment, thereby bringing issues of abuse to the forefront and raising societal awareness. Led by experienced instructors well versed in various aspects of the media profession, the training emphasizes the importance of direct communication on the rights of children and women, fostering accountability and facilitating the implementation of national and state level laws. The primary objective of the training is to encourage journalists to focus on reporting incidents of violence against women and children, taking proactive steps to address the numerous challenges they face. During the highly anticipated opening ceremony, Daoud Awais Jama, the Minister of Information of Somalia, urged journalists to shift their focus towards positive reporting on the rights of women and children, highlighting the transformative impact such reporting can have on the future of millions of children in Somalia. <laughs> kusaabsan han qoto deegaanka inta soo dhan waxa laga rabaa wariyaha inuu aqoon u leeyahay inuu sameyn karo daraasad marka dadku waxa uu soo gudbinaa ay noqdaan wax dhameystira marka aan leeyahay dalka iyo siyaasada la xiriirta aruurta maxay 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 kala مش هو سهل تكيل كرتو حوالي نظر كهرباء ساعات سميسيت وحاجة در درسيت درسيت الموضوع عاد مركز كهرباء يسو دين عروض أو كلا سوماليا لابد يكون شنو يتبانك وحيس هذا هالشيء كي عالمي جاها حقوق العروض أو أنت بدل ما دام بدل نسيحين جنوري هذا في لا يا سومالي مركز سياحي لابد يكون شنو يتبانك. The training program will facilitate in-depth analysis and fruitful discussions among participating journalists on various topics, including gender equality, child rights, and empowerment. A communication and media advisor from Save the Children Somalia, Saeed Mahmoud Issa, stressed the importance of challenging harmful attitudes and societal norms to promote gender equality and hold the government accountable for the adoption and implementation of gender equality laws in Somalia. <laughs> Simha Chairman Hassan Ali Gesi highlighted the training's significance in enhancing the knowledge and reporting skills of journalists and encouraging them to prioritize reporting on violence against women and children. <laughs> He expressed his gratitude to Save the Children of Somalia for their timely support in conducting the training 
underscoring the collaborative efforts to drive the positive change in Somali society. Children in Somalia have faced significant challenges due to protracted conflicts, political instability and recurrent humanitarian crises. The prolonged state of conflict has had a devastating impact on children, leaving them vulnerable to various forms of abuse, including forced recruitment as child soldiers, forced marriage, sexual violence and limited access to essential services such as education and healthcare. According to Save the Children, more than half of children under the age of five in Somalia are currently facing acute malnutrition. Protecting and promoting the rights of children in Somalia is crucial for their well-being and the country's future. Now that story of Simha brings us to the end of this bulletin. My name is Abdrizak Ali. I wish you a lovely evening.